Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. Woo! Woo! I'm your storyteller and host, Stephen Pope, and welcome to our anime-inspired game here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms, available now at DriveThroughRPG.com. Uh, you might notice we have a little cash shakeup. Uh, sadly, we did have to say goodbye to Kelly Nugent. We're all very sad about it, but I'm not sad because we have Critical Bard. Have you seen this man? Have you seen this beautiful person? Everyone look at him. Tell him how beautiful he is. Ah, he's so beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm good. I'm just going to just cover up my screen. No, no you're no, beautiful. No. <laughs> Yes. Um, so, before I get into the whole spiel that I usually do at the beginning, let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with the Roddy Rough Boy himself, Critical Bard. That's not fair. Oh, <laughs> that's a, that's an inside joke. Not really. And you, hi, uh, my name is Omega totally Jones. Anything. Okay, it totally is. It is. You're right. Uh, but yeah, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. I am a, uh, a, a what do I do? I'm a singer, actor, performer, host, moderator, hot mess incarnate. Uh, I'm a professional, well, professional, somewhat full time Twitch streamer. Uh, just doing things all day. Uh, I like uh, long walks on the beach and honey buns and, and and gummy worms. That's me. And little Debbie. Uh, that's me. Oh yes, and little Debbie. Yes. <laughs> well, well, yes, yes, yes. I'm also playing Kawame Akinyemi, um, whose divinity is Anansi. Love it. Next up, uh, they are the master of all four elements. It's Aki. I'm the avatar. Oh, you're shit. the avatar. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of responsibility. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am Aki. I am playing Emancipation Brown, whose divinity is uh, Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Um, man, I, I've had a lot going on in my life. I moved to a whole new apartment in the time that we've had our break. Um, I scheduled my my vaccinations today. Yes! Your Get boy's your getting Get vaccinated. Them. I'm very excited um, to be able to hug people safely again. Uh, it is all I've ever dreamed of, and it's happening in the month of my birth. So I'm very excited. It's the That's best awesome. possible birthday present. Um, what else has been going on? I don't know. I've been playing a lot of games. Uh, recently, where there was announced the, another game I'm going to be playing with CB very soon. You can hear more about that at the end of the, the, the show. But it's going to be dope. It's going to be very dope. dope. I'm very excited. Uh, who do you play? And I'm glad as? to be back. Uh, I I already said. Did you? Yes, this is oh. the very beginning of my introduction. Mm -hmm. You did. Yes, I'm bad at my job. So no. <laughs> moving right along, they are the uh, uh, warrior of beauty and justice. It's Eric. <laughs> it's always a surprise who <laughs> is going to be called forth, and I. I'm grateful that that was me. I, I, I wanted it to be listen, me. Listen, someone like gets to be Sailor Moon every week, and I'm just going to throw it at you like a dodgeball. I th and I want it so badly. Hi, everyone. I'm Eric. Uh, and I am playing Lennox Thatcher, who is uh, the, the the fancy rich boy. And and the, uh, the, the one I was about to say Scion, and then I was like, divinity? What is it? What, is it? what are we calling it in this one? Uh, you have a divinity. He has the divinity uh, Ninkasi, who's the Sumerian goddess of beer. Uh, and yeah, in the past two weeks, we got a cat who is apparently pregnant. <gasps> and uh, I still haven't done laundry. <laughs> well, mazel tov to that. And finally, she's the star of her own harem comedy, Mika. God, I wish. Uh, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> you can uh, find me at RIP Mika. I do streams. I don't do anything else. <laughs> I'm a woman of many talents, but not professionally. And I play Dahlia Wingrove, who is our sweet little theater kid who loves too fast and way too strong. And her divinity is Persephone, the goddess of vegetation and queen of the underworld. Both things that I aspire to be one day. I mean, hashtag goals. All right. So now for my usual spiel. We at Saving Throw Show, we are an independent entity. 
We, you know, we love to have sponsors when we get and get them, but ultimately we do not have a major corporate overlord. We are always, always taking applications though. We are looking for that corporate overlord and we will gladly show whatever you need. Until then though, we need your help in order to make sure you can pay our talent and keep the lights on at the studio and keep our kobolds fed. They're so needy. There's so many of them. They, they just keep coming. Anyway, uh, you can support us, though, through your tips, your subscriptions, uh, whatever you'd like. And don't worry, there is stuff in it for you. Every time you subscribe to New Pantheon, you get us one step closer to our very special 25 sub unlock for this episode. I'm calling Ghost Stories. I'm not going to explain that, though. I'll, I'll let the players kind of stew on that. And you also get immortalized as an NPC within north point academy which is a very fun little thing i get to throw in and you end up as a club member i can't always guarantee you will have your name pronounced correctly you probably will not but bear with me please i try i try so hard what was that one in season two that you kept mispronouncing i'm not going to say <laughs> yeah great, great sausage under great heaven. sausage under heaven yep <laughs> yep hallowed be thy name I don't I don't deserve this. Anyway, your tips also help unlock stuff for the stories. You can get uh, some very fun unlocks like the Poetry Slam, where we will have to publish one of Kwame's poems, or Prom Panic, where when the NPCs will have the squad put them in an outfit for prom. Hmm, I keep bringing up prom this season. I wonder why. But every $50 we raise, we will be drawing from the tarot. Yes, the all-knowing tarot will bring out some wonderful boons and banes, and since Kwame is our newest member, he will have a new card associated with them. And I, I didn't agree to this. Hmm? What? <laughs> I didn't agree to this. No. Nope. Oh, no. Thank no, you. No, no. I'm it, leaving. Bye. Uh, you you should have read the fine print. Please don't leave. We need you. Uh, Kwame will be associated with the sun. Uh, yes, I do have the cat tarot. It's the only one I have available to me. <laughs> But yes, uh, Kwame will be associated with the sun, just like uh, Mika, uh, Dahlia is the star. Uh, Lenny is the emperor. And last but certainly not least, Manny is the fool. So let me go ahead and shuffle these, guy, these guys in. Every $50 we raise, we'll draw from this. And we will be trying something a little different now. If I draw their card, if it's face up, right side up, they will get a crit that they can cash in any time during the campaign. If it's face down, then it's a crit failure that I get to cash in whenever. I'm excited. Are you excited? I feel excited. I'm only excited thy for one of Thy pork bits come, thy links be, be done. <laughs> on English muffins as they are on biscuits. Give us this day our daily breakfast sandwich. Sorry. Oh, great sausage under heaven. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? I I, I, am not, I did not come out here to be bullied. Bless the sausage and its only child, Jimmy Dean. <laughs> great sage under upset. heaven. Forgive me under, uh, for I have, I have sinned. Yes. I, I have, have put sausage in your name. Forgive me for I have syruped. <sighs> So I literally have sausage sitting on... It has been six links since I have done... <laughs> Riddler right there. <laughs> Four score and six links ago. Oh, Jesus. This... Oh, uh, you're all terrible. Can... <laughs> so, Are you let's... excited to have us back? I'm so excited to have the show back. You have no idea. But we're definitely giving giving uh, CB a great impression of us. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, so <laughs> with the spiel out of the way, let's go ahead and begin our new semester here at North Point Academy. Spring has come to North Point, Oregon. The cold winter front has moved out and it is now beautiful weather. The snow has melted, the sun is shining. We start with a young Japanese woman of about 16 years old, standing in an empty dorm room that used to belong to a dear friend of hers. We go to the light music room where a young Frenchman who has just 
completely redone their hair and got one of those nose piercings that also kind of has a little chain to his ear. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, but they pull it off. Um, currently strums his guitar with other members of the Light Music Club, like Simi David 95, the Great Sage Under Heaven, not the Great Sausage. I don't know why everyone keeps bringing sausages up. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Chovic Zani and Mini Marker. Another young man of sculptish descent uh, draws feverishly alone in the quad. Our story begins with the four of you standing in the office of Dr. Ash, the headmaster of North Point Academy. His office is a combination uh, anthropology lab, biology lab, and, well, a very comfy office. Behind him floats the Jade Emperor, uh, his divinity, which appears as several large jade uh, cracked pieces of rock that float almost in the shape of a man, but not quite. Um, and he looks to the four of you uh, up from a document that uh, he's written out. So... Um, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything accounted for here. Um, let's see. You opened the door of oblivion. Yeah. Brought yeah. a girl back from the dead. Uh huh. My greatest failure. Yes. Um, you rec you rectified that. So I believe I owe all of you my firstborn, which is going to be very complicated. Um, no, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think any of, I mean, I like kids and, you know, eventually uh, having kids would be pretty cool, uh, but I don't think I'm ready for them or or, or ready for the responsibility that, that they entail. And plus, I, I'm figuring if you don't have kids already, that may mean that maybe you don't want them. And, and that's also valid. Also, yeah, I just don't think any of us are like in the point in our life where we are uh financially or just mentally capable of like raising a an, another human i mean we're still kids well, I know. I well mean, emancipation happens, lennox and that'd kind of be cool i guess but no, no. Whatever. emancipation lennox i assure you my child is about i estimate twice your age so you don't need to worry that's okay oh. uh dr ash stands up and there's no other way to describe him other than Morgan Freeman, and he was kind of a dilf. I mean, Who's to say isn't him? Morgan Freeman? Okay. <laughs> Aki, do you have he's something a, you want to share? He is a very handsome man. I he like him really. I, I'm Freeman taking it back. In Bruce Almighty, I was into it. Really? I, I'm yeah. taken aback by the idea that he's not a dilf. Like, yeah. He's yeah. Morgan Freeman. He's the voice of God. Yeah, I know. He has. I'm just okay. You know what? I clearly said no, I dig clearly this hole, Steven. dug this yeah. hole, so I'm going to <laughs> uh, fill the hole with cement on top of myself and just let myself suffocate. So, great. I'm just imagining like like unforgiven level Morgan Freeman, like in my head. That works. Mm. That works. Um. Uh, the entity known as Orpheus was. You believe he was a shadow, yes, Miss Windgrove? He looks up to you, Dahlia. Um, what do you look like? Let's go ahead and uh, establish what you look like in this new semester. It's only been two weeks, but... Yeah, it's been about two weeks. Uh, Dahlia's probably gotten a perm, so her hair is, like, really, really curly. And she's probably started dressing in a lot of floral patterns to uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, support her her divinity a little bit more. Right. <laughs> and now, Emancipation, you mentioned that Loki was also involved in opening the doors of Oblivion. As far as I know, yeah. I watched him help. Uh, what does Manny look like uh, in this new semester? I mean, Manny looks like Manny. Manny's kind of a uh, constant. Um, Short, wavy, black hair, hazel eyes, uh, very like dark olive North African kind of heritage looking kind of kid. Um, yeah, five eight, lanky, wearing their school uniform, probably not wearing their jacket, has their tie slightly loosened and like their sleeves rolled up. 
Um, their slacks, their slacks are, their slacks are probably starting to look like they need to, uh, they need to be re, uh, they need to get re new, new slacks, uh, all the running around and like, you know, rolling over and getting, getting beat up is probably giving them some wear and tear. Hmm. And you've also reported finding uh, about four other Divinity users within school grounds. Uh, Lennox, does that check out? Uh, one, two, three and a half. Four. Yeah, yeah, it seems about four. <laughs> uh, how does Lennox look in this new uh, semester? Uh, Lennox is not wearing his Letterman's jacket anymore. And he oh. is wearing, uh, he's wearing, he's still wearing track pants, but they're fashionable track pants, not function track pants. All right. I have my heart. It's, it's gross. When he's coming into his own. <laughs> uh, now, and finally, he looks over to you, Kwame, and he gives this sly grin of just almost like you're an old friend. And you, uh, sir, I am to understand you're the new wielder of Anansi. Yeah, it would appear that it would be the, um, the case, yeah. On your shoulder, Anansi appears, and with too many arms, does a little twirl and a bow. But I, I want to point out, I did not do any of this stuff that you talked about before. That's not, <laughs> nope, above my peer grade. Good on that. Just hanging out. I do understand it's above your peer grade. I completely understand that. However, with uh, Miss Winter's departure to France... I was hoping you could join the, let's see, what do I have you under? The school safety squad? <laughs> Wait, that, what? That is the alias that we are using as the name of our club. Yep. <laughs> but do we have to be public with this? You know, I, I still have a reputation. I have to make sure people don't think I am... <laughs> Less than. Well, all the cool kids are in the safety squad. Kwame. We're in the safety squad. <laughs> what you don't think we're well, cool? in the safety squad? Uh, no, no, that's not what I am saying. I just uh, <clears throat> let me, you know, just. <clears throat> but Lenny's got his family name on a whole wing of the school. He's cool. Uh, I think I think my um, like I haven't checked the numbers, but I think my like coolness status is like dropped a, a couple of bits as long as being in the school safety squad does not take away from my time in the newly formed poetry club um, I had to bring it back I assure you you will find time for uh, the school poetry society and I might even manage to get some extra funding for your poetry club if you were to be so kind well mm. Bribery. You, 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 uh, we, we don't have much, um, um, mm, coinage, if you will. Um, so I feel more obligated to say yes. Well, that is a relief. He closes the folder and leans on his desk. <sighs> I am worried, though. You opened the door. Well, not you, Kwame, but you three. You three helped open the door. Now, I don't know what lives beyond it, but I do know that there is, well, that is where the crows used to come from. Yeah, and, but uh, well, Loki said that we have to go through the bad to get the good. Yeah. It'd be bad for a little bit, but it'd be good overall. Yeah, and like if the worst thing that happens is like, you know, more more gods and divinities show up that are uh forcefully taking over a child, uh like what happened two weeks ago, then uh, you know. Actually, no, that's pretty bad. Actually honestly. Yes. That's not great. It was actually freaky. What good has happened? 
I mean, you met me. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. you're great. And Spiro. And... Hi. Yes, yeah, so I've attempted to have Spiro join your club as well, but like uh, Mr. Kwame here, he had similar reservations. Are we really not cool? Is this a thing? No. no mm, you, 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 Manny, you are an amazing person, and so Definitely. are you, Dahlia. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely. You're both two amazing people. That's not an answer to the question. <laughs> I'm you do realize saying, I am capable of sussing out the truth, right? Behind you Nothing appear the golden wings wrong. of Ma'at. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just remembered I have to... Um... Hello? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, sorry, I have to take this. Such a liar. Do we, have a, do we have anyone on the school staff that's good with PR, sir? I need to get my reputation back up. Well, Wait, uh, are we implying that I'm the one who is dragging us down? No, 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 no. Wait, let me bring this back. The school safety club is 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 very interesting and um, so exclusive that many people don't want to join or be near or associate themselves with. But that just means more, more, more space for you. And uh, yeah, and it's know? just once once the once the like the rumors that like everyone who joins that used to be cool is slowly becoming uncool. Uh, like once that dissipates, like once that's all gone, then like that's when people are really gonna be like, oh, I can't wait to join. And it's not it's not those who are in the school safety club. It's just the club itself. Yeah. Miss Winters did have a bit of a personality. I will say that. However, I do not feel like it is necessarily a bad thing for your club to not be the most popular. Not that I believe any of you are the cause of that. I just believe the idea of keeping school grounds safe for mothers feels rather... No, it's Back in my day, we'd say copish, but we can uh, we can improve our reputation. We can we can do stuff for the 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 par parade coming up, the school pride parade, and and we can um. Well, I'm gonna panic about this. We have to do something. We have to make the safety squad cool. I. No, are they ever gonna cast a lead in the school play if they're part of the safety squad? And the safety squad isn't cool. You have uh, any answers for me? Uh, what? Hello? Yeah, sorry, I have to take this. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Ash just pats you on the shoulder, Miss Whitman Grove. I promise you, you will still be the star of the drama department. You will be fine. You will not be taking any actual hits to your reputation. It's not like people are whispering suspiciously about you or anything behind your backs. Well, why would you say that? Because it's not happening. Well, if it's not happening, why would you say it? It's happening. It might not be happening. Dahlia, breathe. Breathe, Dahlia. I can't. Oh, boy. Wait, I, I, I didn't... Um, <clears throat> um, we don't have to wear, like, um, you know, the green or orange vest or anything like no, that. No, we have I? armbands, oh. but um, that was kind of a an iris thing so like i guess we could like we would have to vote like we'd have to follow proper procedures so they are required uh but we can uh via two-thirds majority vote vote that they are optional okay all right so I don't know that optional. okay well first we have to so so you're calling for a vote do we have a second <laughs> Are we really conducting club business here in front You're of right. the? You're right. We can't. We can't do this here. So sorry. We have to. We have to have an official meeting and give everyone a week's notice. Oh bother! All right. Listen, well. Iris was very, very much like totally got the rules set down in stone. There's a procedure. She and was who better very to organized. enforce them than the RA? 
Are you still an RA or did you get yeah, let go? Or... Yeah, that's I'm still one of those. One of those, okay. Yeah, that's oh, one the, of those. The, the, the yeah. sixth floor, no, the fourth floor. Yeah, seven, eight, fifth floor. Not your floor is probably all you need to worry about, Kwame. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it has been a long time. Oh, we do have an open now. room. This uh, if you're, if you're, oh, yeah, if you're looking to like change floors or whatever. You can come hang out with us. Iris's room is empty now. It's just a uh, sing mono single one. Yeah, it's a yeah. single, uh, and it went through a pretty heavy deep clean. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I could use that change of pace. That's fine. Is that okay with you? As I look over at the dean, Doctor Ash lets out another chuckle. It is completely fine if you would like to move. I will put in the paperwork myself. Cool. Be closer to to my to to people I um can uh, agree with, if you will. Relate to. Relate to. There you go. I should be the one. I am the wordsmith. You are the truth seeker. I should be able to. I guess get the coincide in a way. Yeah. Hand meet glove. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Is there anything else? I believe we probably all have things to do. Well, not saying that I I, I don't like your presence, say anything like that, but um, no, no, I understand. You all place. have a very busy school day ahead of you. I just wanted to. I want you all to be on high alert. Why, Dahlia? You opened the door. Yeah, we don't know. Weeks. It has been two weeks. It's been a very pleasant, quiet two weeks. But we don't know what this means in the long run. You four are the school's first line of defense. Did we ever check in with the 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 one I have adopted? And I totally forgot his name. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, I forgot it too. I don't remember either. I have his name in the notes somewhere. You adopted someone? Ben? No. Steven? No. Um, um, Aaron? Nick. Nick. Don't see, it was right there. It was right on the, on the top of my head. Found it. Yes. Uh, did we ever, um, uh, was there anything else, any follow up with uh, Nicholas? I offered to remove his divinity but he seems rather attached to it. And who is it again? The TV person or something? <laughs> yeah, it was a TV that took over his head and grew a bunch of freaky legs. Yes. Uh, his... And then it started pooping out anime. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe that was what he would describe it as, but yes, he has a creation divinity. Uh, similar to you, Kwame. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. look over at Anansi. Well, he's something. I mean, yeah, but like you could, Kwame can create anything, and you know, Nick can create Pikachus. You know, so. Well, I, 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 I could create that Pikachu if I wanted to. I just don't want to. What would I do? Do not that? make Pikachus on school grounds. I will not make a Pikachu on the school grounds. Thank you. Oh, but it'd be really cool for like you know. International Pokemon Day, though that's already over. If it had been last week, we could have totally like made a real life Pokemon tournament. It could be pretty cool. Oh yeah. You see Dr. Ash's face just kind of go through the five stages of grief as a boomer <laughs> when he finds out there's a Pokemon Day. Fascinating. What's yeah, you could make like that that Pikachu that's the turtle. Which one's that one? Turtle. Oh yeah. That's that's probably my favorite Pikachu. Hmm. It's not a okay. Let's go. Really, let's get out of here before I before it's just, uh, uh. okay. Yeah, obviously I'm not very cool. Uh, I... <laughs> Poor Manny. He's having a day. They're having. They a day. are. They're, they're having a day. They are always having a day, <laughs> especially now that they're realizing that they're probably the person who is not cool and dragging down the whole group. No, no. 
No. Kawame is just a he's just a not a freeloader, that's not what I meant to say. He's a free spirit. So him being in a club like this is just like mm, mm, mm. I don't want to be tied down. And, <laughs> I, 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 don't to, I don't want to define the relationship. And like, he's, he's he's agnostic when it comes to clubs. You know mm-hmm. how there's like aromantic people. He's a clubmatic. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> exactly Lenny, that. Lenny was like, you know, captain of the football team and stuff like that. Joined the club and he quit the football team. <laughs> so, <laughs> so all the when they hate the club. Yeah, I think when Lenny quit the cl- uh, quit this uh, football team, Manny just went over to his uh, his room the day that he finally quit and just like spent the day with him, just being like, "What you want to do?" what you want to do we'll do whatever you want what you want to do <laughs> just like it was just like that the whole time just probably getting the, on Lenny's nerves so bad um, <laughs> I was just whole... trying to you know being there in solidarity just like it was very yeah. sweet of them as the four of you leave uh the office you hear the unmistakable sound of a school announcement bum 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 <clears throat> We have a very special announcement. This one coming from Mini Marker. That's Mini Marker. Here's to a new semester. You all are wonderful. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you, Mini Marker. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it seems like somebody here is really excited to be back. Why anyone's excited about a new semester at school is beyond me, especially, but most teenagers, I assume. Oh no, I like school. I do too. I'm not good at it, but I like it. So. I was a solid C student until college. Then I became an, like, oh, I'll take it seriously now. Yeah. Oh, C's I and was, D's mm-hmm. and nearly got put on academic pro- probation my first year of college. So Same. Same. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I realized at an early age, I didn't have to try very hard at all the way through high school. And then I got to community college where they don't, they don't tell you what's going to be on the test and you have to actually try. And I just yeah. didn't. I failed gym class twice. See kids, it gets better. <laughs> I just want to say very quickly, it's funny because uh, I definitely was on academic probation second semester of my freshman year. However, I was working for Disney second semester. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Didn't matter. I guess my probation was in Disney. So bye. <laughs> I call that a win. Um, as the four of you descend the elevator, you find yourself in the main hall of North Point Academy. This is where uh, they do big announcements and sometimes uh, have guest speakers come and talk in. Um, you see Critical Bard and you see Critical Ooh, Bard and R.I.P. Nika, and they're Ooh, in her, oh, big no. trouble. They're the in big trouble. Yeah, they got so, the audacity. So I, I, I feel like we should make sure that we bring uh, CB properly into this as well yes. Uh, yes. so that he understands what's about to happen. Every single one of us in, in this game are basically the bad kids. Like, we're, yes! the bullies. we're the bullies. <laughs> Yeah, that that that, that tracks. Oh um, yeah. guys, I think we should go around the side. We should avoid the middle. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I think that Mika is still mad at me for like during spirit week. Yeah. That was bad. I she's still pretty mad at me. She she comes by my my dorm room and she erases my name on my plaque outside and she writes really mean things. What's wrong with her? And- uh, they, you see Mika look over at you, eyes wide and full of hate and rage, and CB oh. is behind him. Not CB, critical part is behind him. They get I would more avoid. and more aggressive every every. Avoid, yeah. I'm just just gonna go. I'm just gonna go that way. Yes, no. I, I, too much drama is too early. I don't even have a latte yet. I'm good. Nope. Yeah. I don't- what What's your poison when it comes to lattes? Ooh, I like a vanilla latte, extra espresso, a little bit of drizzle, a caramel drizzle, just a little bit. I like mocha lattes. Ooh. I like mocha with two shots of espresso. Only two? Yeah. Or sorry, hot chocolate with two shots of espresso. Is there a difference? That's a good question. Wouldn't a hot chocolate with espresso just be a mocha? 
Yeah, that's what they tell me, but I swear it tastes different every time. It's it's the same paradox of uh, the chocolate cake and red velvet. It's still the same. It's just the coloring is different. How dare but, you? What about you, Lanny? Uh, I... I don't consume uh, coffee because it uh, the caffeine it, it dehydrates you. Uh, but I do stick with uh, green tea for the healthy antioxidants. Oh. Well, the thing, Lenny, is if you have some coffee and Spiros next to you as well, you have all the thirst you need. <laughs> what? Huh? And on that note, uh, you hear someone on a motorized scooter, and you also hear them screaming, "Gangway!" And I need all of you to roll me dexterity. We're looking hey. for four. Hey. Here we go. Dolly was going to be fixing her hair because... Nope. <laughs> well, we mentioned the name Spiro, and she's like, oh, he's here. I got nope. Six. Nope. I got, I got a two. Same. <laughs> what are we three. trying to beat? A four. Four. I beat it. Okay. I got Dahlia, maybe it's because you're like on Spiro Watch 2021, but you start looking around and you see Ben on a motorized scooter come zooming straight towards you. And like a bowling ball hitting a strike, everyone goes flying. The scooter goes that way. Ben goes that way. Kwame one way. Lenny another way. Manny another way. Ow. Oh, ow, ow, oh watch ow, out. Ow, oh, my head. Oh. oh. Benny, what the hell? Ben looks up at you. Uh, he is still as you remember him, Manny. Mostly legs and looks like he's powered by Red Bull. Just way too much energy to spare. And That's why his, he's on the pep squad. Yes. His mop of brown hair is a mess and his helmet is just kind of cocked. Ugh. Oof. Jeez. Sorry, sorry. I got this thing for my birthday. I thought it would help me get to the clubs. I needed to go to quicker, and I forgot. I don't know how to break yet. Yeah. Do you wear contacts? Uh, yes. Yeah, get them fixed. Okay. Also, I do that. you have the Class C license required to operate a scooter? If I say yes, will uh, you not snitch? Um. Is that the honest answer? No. Hmm. Honestly, it's not hard to get your, your class C. Uh, you can probably do it over a weekend. Uh, they do courses all the time at the local <sighs> community college. I failed driver's ed twice. A anyway, anyway. Uh, hey, hey. Um, so, realizing they're in deep poop. Uh, hey, uh, Manny, real quick, uh, emergency pep squad meeting in about 15. Also, by the way, and he looks to you, Kwame and Lenny, congrats on nominations. Uh, what? Thanks. What are you yeah, talking about? You, you guys, you didn't do it yourselves? Nominations? For what? I mean, I know a lot of things, but uh, we yeah, you're both nominated down by a scooter and... Can you say that one more time? They're nominated for prom what now? Prom King. They're both nominated for prom King. Ooh, congratulations. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Who, who, else got, who else got nominated yeah. for prom King? Yeah, or Queen. Oh, um, well, and also, are we, uh, like, why is it, like, gendered? So, like. What about me? Where would I fall? I don't know, prom royal. Do they have that? Hey, I didn't make it. They should, though, shouldn't they? They should. Yeah, they should do that. They probably don't, though. Uh, we should talk. Well, we're on the pep squad. We should talk about that. We're in charge of it. Maybe Wait, that's what the is, meeting's about. How is there a list this or is. something? Oh, yeah. Uh, ben reaches into his oversized hoodie, and he pulls out a uh, flyer showing who's been nominated for prom king and prom queen. On the prom king list are uh, Kwame, Lennox, uh, Brendan Schock, and uh, Jamal Allen, the school vice president. Gross. <laughs> uh, for prom queen is May Fun, Sandra Freeman, 
Uh, Mandy Murphy, the girl you saved uh, from the Doors of Oblivion, and uh, Kim Winters. Kim Winters? Oh, yeah. We know Kim. Iris' yeah. sister? No. You know, the one with the... Oh! Yeah. Um, I don't know them, but I did run into them. Yeah, the new girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ben person has no idea that Kim used to is not only a divinity user; she was dead for about ten years. Wait, the new person in yeah. town got nominated for prom queen, and my eyes just kind of look over at Dahlia. I don't say anything, but I definitely note the disposition, and I look back at Ben. Like, was there a vote that we didn't like? Who handles all of this? Oh, um, the president of the pup squad. Yeah. Huh. I'm supposed to be putting these flyers up. Uh, oh, God. And it's that moment Ben realizes when he crashed into you. Flyers everywhere. Good luck cleaning those up. Let's go. Oh. I'll see you at the meeting. I'll see you at the meeting. Grumble, grumble. My, uh, Manny reaches over and just takes Dahlia's hand and like holds it. Oh, what's uh, what's this for? <clears throat> Cause I know you need it. Thanks, Manny. You're welcome, Dahlia. Uh, if it you makes you feel any better, they definitely should... think you'd be the best prom queen ever. You know, I want you... the coolest dress. Yeah, you know what we should do? If, like, there's, like, I assume there's, like, a ceremony or something where they, like, announce it or whatever, uh, and then, like, they invite us all on stage to show us, you should, like, take my spot. Crash it. Yeah, you should, like, like put on my my Letterman's jacket and, like, my hat and be, like, like oh, and, like, my take my God. spot. That would be the best character acting I could ever pull off. I think I could really pull off a Lenny. Yeah. I, I feel like you can't. Like, like, I... I know, like I'm I can a, bulk up the way that like Christian Bale bulked up for one of his roles. Oh, I could, <gasps> I could totally help you. Like, uh, we could start, uh, we could start easy, like starting, like, I'm like helping on your workout resume. Yeah, yeah. Do you start like, like I'll, I'll go easy on you. We'll start at like seven thirty, uh, and then like, like then we'll progress, you know, to like five thirty eventually, like you know, to really get you really? in there. Five five hundred and thirty pounds. No, in the morning. <laughs> Oh, oh, time. Wow. Okay. Oh. While this is happening, while they're talking, mm -hmm. this is actively while they're talking and, you know, picking up flyers and stuff, I kind of go over to Manny, um, helping them pick up stuff as well. How much does this mean to, to her? It means a lot. Dahlia, Dahlia really wants to be a star one day. Like, getting the lead in, in the play means a lot to her. And she's She's not somebody who I would say is like desperate for attention that because that's mean um, and inaccurate. Um, she's somebody who works really hard and 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 likes to likes to uh, reap the benefit of having having put in the work. And and she she's somebody who puts in the work. I see. OK. As Ben continues to clean up the flyers, he's joined by DJ Phoenix, who helps him out, and Dregan55, both members of the School Beautification Society. Um, and I just realized we have unlocked some stuff thanks to our wonderful chat. So first of all, re-rolls for the table. There are five re-rolls up for grabs. This is the only, these are the only re-rolls you get. They do not carry over. Smoke them if you got them, as the saying goes. And next up, I got to draw a card. So let's go ahead, give this a quick shuffle. And CB, as this is your uh, first official game with us, uh, uh, since the charity, pick a number between one, two, three. Ben has three letters in its name. All right. Three. The card you have chosen is death in reverse. Is that cool? Cool. That 
sounds horrible. I, I know nothing about tarot death except reverse, it's life. anytime that it's a death card, that means really good things. And anytime it's a happy card, that means you're going to die, I think. That's but how death tarot in reverse sounds bad. So <laughs> All of this the, sounds absolutely fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Yes. So here's the fun thing about the death tarot. Death does not mean death. Death means changes. Hey, Dame, yes. thank you. <laughs> Turn to face the day. Oh, uh, I, I don't know the lyrics. I'm pretty sure that's the lyrics. So, death in Child reverse. Can't change me. <laughs> the death arcana in reverse means something is going to change whether you like it or not. And I am going to say, as you are all helping Ben gather up the papers and you get them all together, the weather goes from beautiful and sunny to dark foreboding and a thunderstorm comes rolling in mm -mm. out of nowhere. Mm. Mm -mm. Which gives everyone the condition drenched one. That means if you roll a one or lower, I get to have some fun. Great. Good yes. thing we got those re-rolls. Mm -hmm. Uh... As the weather comes rolling in unpredictably, students begin clamoring out of the quad, trying to find cover. Some people who actually watch the news in the morning have umbrellas. Uh, and you all can't help but think, ah, if Iris was here, she would have an entire tent ready. She would pull umbrellas out of places I didn't even know she had. Yeah, that, that's pretty fair. Uh, so, where are you going to go now? Uh, you have been freed from your duties, uh, except for Manny, who has a meeting with the school pep squad. Yep. I have to do the thing. Do you want to go? Sure. I'm the manager of the team. I have to be there. And besides, if I'm there, maybe I could speak up about how heinous this whole prom king and queen nonsense is. Okay. Um, Why, do you I, think this is something I should be worried about? No, 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 no. Um, you kind of see Kwame shiver ever so slightly. He has a slight phobia of storms. Slight. Um, um, but he says... Not really. Um, I just wanted to make sure you were doing something that you didn't want to do. That's all. I like being part of the pep squad. Eventually, one day, I'll actually like be on the pep squad, like doing the dances and stuff like that. But I have a lot of work to do on my form. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a terrible dancer per se, but it takes me a long time to learn things. Ben keeps yeah. his mouth shut. Ooh. I just have, um, what time is it? What time is it? Uh, it's about four in the afternoon on a Friday. So everyone's kind of free and open. Okay. Um, I don't really have much to do unless y'all want to get some food or something. Yeah, we can go get food. Right, Lenny? Yeah. You don't That'd have football practice anymore, so we can get all the food we want. <gasps> no. Yeah, I guess I could, I could, I could eat like, like breaded chicken or yeah. like bread. Carbs. Did you not eat carbs before? I mean, I limited my intake of grain significantly. I guess I don't have to. I gotta say, Persephone is super excited about this change in you, Lenny. That's good. Yeah. Many Ninkasa is kind of kind of happy about it cuz I don't know if you know uh where beer is from, but heavy carb load. No way. Mhm. Mm huh, the more you know. Do you want us to bring you some food, Manny, or Um, sure. I will take some food. What would you I, like? What would I like? I want oh if they've got some really good ramen i'll take that okay for sure do you All want right. the soy eggs 
Yes, please. Okay. Oh, God, I want Robin now. All right. As the three of you head off towards the cafeteria, Manny, you are joined by Ben as you head towards the Pep Squad Club Room. Um, once you arrive, you see the normal uh, Pep Squad members, including Pyotr Roskov, the Russian president of the Pep Squad, who takes Pep very seriously. We bring joy and we take it very seriously. That seems okay. Sure. That yes. makes total sense. Ah, emancipation. It's good to see you. Ben. Ah. What? He looks Ben up and down. What happened to you? Uh, scooter accident. Very well. Manny, package for you. Without for waiting... Without waiting, he uh, shoves a large cardboard box into your chest. Oh, oh, th thank you. Yes, you club manager. You manage things. Uh, and they open the box. Inside, you see two beautiful crowns. Oh, oh, oh. I think we should talk about this. Okay. Uh, Manny has floor. Yes, very good. Piotr takes a seat and Ben gives you a thumbs up as he does as well. The other members of the uh, pep squad all kind of look to you. I believe that the notion of a prom king and queen is both unnecessarily gendered and antiquated. I think that if we are going to continue to do something like this at our school, we should do something that is more in the spirit of the ever evolving and changing ways of the world that we live in. For example, me being who I am, I will never be able to be nominated for a prom king or queen because I am neither. And why is that fair? And also, the idea that it's some sort of ridiculous popularity contest that we here at the pep squad have all the control over. Also ridiculous. Hmm. Okay, go ahead and give me a charm roll and add three to the roll. Charisma, you mean? Charisma, yes. Add three. Ugh. We're looking for at least a five. I rolled an 11. Oh, damn. Now, Piotr is not exactly a friendly person. They're not mean by any means, but they are someone who seems to be very intent on doing their job well. Manny, you, you bring up a good point. Of I, course they do. Yes. And as club manager, you are very vital for clubs continued uh, success, including with the dances and the uh, auction which you ran. Uh, what if it is simply prom royals? I think we should just call it the prom court. It's a good name. I like. And we can have more than two. If we wanted, we could have a retinue of sorts. People that we feel have have really stood out and 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 accomplished things that are important and 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 additive to the school, and allow the student body to have some say in who that is. I mean, we uh, you know we take we take student vote. That's how we make a list of potential king and queen. I think I think that's fine. But I think that if we if we uh, uh, make adjustments to the qualifications, uh, then we might see some uh, variation. I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with the list that we have. But like I said, I think that it overlooks some really important people, not just people, but you know, aspects of who we are as a campus. Hmm. We don't get a crown. We only have two crowns. That's fine. I think that maybe 
let's see. Do the crowns look different? Do they look um, like when you hold when you remove them from the box, you notice a very particular white glow to them. Oh, oh. They feel kind of like they're vibrating in your hand. No one yeah. seems to notice this though. Manny kind of puts them back in the box, closes the box, puts the box next to them. We'll worry about that in a second. I think as long as there is no discernible difference between uh, what the crowns look like, uh, then we uh, can get away with having two, and it doesn't matter what gender combination they happen to be. Eh, hey, boyfriend gave me similar lecture earlier. Clearly come from smart people. Fine. Okay. Manny, we take your plan and we implement. Good? Good. Thank you. All right. Uh, stipulation, though. Yes. You will be required to find uh, eight more people. Eight more nominees? We, uh, court uh, consists of four people. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Well, we have eight nominees. Need sixteen nominees. Okay. Double nominees. I'm sure I can help. I can manage. Yes, I think that. Yes, I can do that. Yes. Uh, ben stands up. I, I'll. I'll help. I'll help. And Ben help. Very good. This ben gives you a little thumbs up. Feels like it was a very uh 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 what's the word a very productive meeting yes that's the word indeed manager though tradition you watch crowns uh we uh dig through budget see if we find any uh we could spare also, money for a new we crop. could also we could also do scepters and and sashes it doesn't necessarily have to be a crown and it doesn't have to be expensive mm. crown tradition crown must stay. Sasha's of course. like Sasha's. Sasha's cheap. But we can make them look very nice. I have a bedazzler in my room. Ah. What is bedazzler? Oh. And as you explain the beautiful art of bedazzlers, uh they only, they only have a bedazzler because they've had to bedazzle so many pep squad uniforms. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Kwame, you are in the cafeteria with Lenny and Dahlia. Several members of the New Founded Poetry Society have approached you. Sarah Cortez 07, Techno Gur, Louisiana born, Texas raised, uh, Sphinx Roll. All future excited members of your club. Um, you're approached by a small uh, young man of Asian descent. Uh, he has a shaved head and uh, a nose piercing. Uh, hey, uh, Noah, I'm with the uh, school paper. You're uh, Kwame, right? Oh, uh, you see, like, I'm, like, trying to order some pot stickers. Like, uh, uh, yes, that that is me. Oh, cool. Uh, listen, real quick. Um Editor wants to have you published in the paper to promote your club. Uh, it came from the dean, I guess. I don't know, but um, so you got. Uh, can I give you my email and you could submit something? We can have it uh, published next week. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 works. And I take out my phone. Um, still trying to make sure my pot stick is not getting taken. Don't you dare touch him. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, what, what is the email? Sorry, got me at lunchtime. Most people don't work on lunchtime, you know, food. Yeah, things. school paper, we don't take breaks. We don't sleep. Not school paper. Understood, though. Uh, yes. You uh, really email? should take breaks, though. Like, if, if you're not being allowed to take breaks, that, that is a violation. Oh, you're, uh, Lennox. Yeah, we're, uh, hi. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and you can thank the chat for that. We will have a, a so uh, if you want, you could write up an actual Kwame poem. But thanks to the chat, Kwame will have his, uh, the NPA paper will publish your poem. So that's fun. Thank you, chat. I will definitely be writing something down. 
Hell yeah. Fun fact, I used to be a huge Tumblr role playing role player. So writing down. is just like in my in my in my blood. Did we role no, play together? Maybe. I used to be a big Tumblr role player too. <laughs> I still have my, I mean, no, most of them are gone, but like I went back on time, like, oh my God, I missed that blog. I missed yeah. that blog. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. I uh, also did that. And once this wraps, we're having a long conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, as you as you get your pot stickers, uh, the three of you, um, there are plenty of tables open. Um, a lot of kids have ducked in here since the storm started. The lights are not flickering or anything. It is just not pleasant outside right now. And uh, three of you have your beautiful, beautiful uh, school mandated lunches. But since this is a private school, they're actually good for you. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think Kuwa may try to find a spot that the good thing about chaos is you can talk about normal things and there's so much chaos happening around you that it doesn't actually matter what you talk about. Um, uh, but still try to find a spot that's a little not secluded, but enough. Um, but he sits down and waits for them. Um, okay, so yeah, if this is going to be a thing, obviously we had to run in a couple of weeks ago, and we've all taken a break since then. Come back. Um, what should I be expecting? Because I don't. That you opened that door. You, you, you. Did someone died? Came back. Um, Orpheus, Shadow, a crow. I, I don't know all these things. Oh gosh, Lenny, where do we start this? Um, let's see, I think. The best place to start is from the beginning. And Lenny lays down his tray. It's a lot of steamed vegetables. It's it's a salad. And there's one small square of of, of uh, brownie. <laughs> I love it. I feel like Dahlia prepared for this and grabbed two of the big like bread bowl rolls and puts one on Lenny's plate as he starts to talk. <laughs> um, basically, uh, it's going to be weird. Uh, and it's not ever going to not be weird. And it's, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. That was the best explanation I have ever heard. Perfect. (laughs) 10 for 10. A pale hand slinks behind you, Lenny, and grabs your brownie. It tries to. I roll against that. (laughs) Okay, give me a dexterity roll. (laughs) That's on the gosh darn football. Take my brownie at your peril, biatch. Yeah, no, no, you stop it. You just like, he's like, he's like, yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. I love it. I want that toy. Uh, realizing she wasn't going to get it, you hear Kim go, ah, man, okay, the one time you have to be paying attention. Uh, you're joined by a. Very... I used to go to a boys' school. You're going to have to wake up a lot earlier in the morning if you want to get past me. <laughs> yeah. A slight young woman with uh, shockingly white hair takes a seat next to Dahlia. Uh, her name is Kim Winters, and she gives you a grin, Kwame. So, heard you joined the Nerd Club. Thanks for joining us. We don't call it the Nerd Club anymore, Kim. Oh, I do. Oh, darn it. Uh, technically, I did not join yet. I was just trying to figure out things. Um... I but think, hello. I think technically you've been conscripted because, like, um, the 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 dean told you, like, you like kind of had to. Yeah. The the good thing about that is, just because someone tells you you must do something, doesn't mean you have to do it. Oh, for sure. But I I like this group, so I do not mind. Um, anywho, hello. Um, I don't think I have the. True pleasure of knowing who you are. We kind of pa- we were uh, two ships passing at the night uh, during that anime thing. Uh, so I'm Kim. I'm dead. Yeah. Well, I was dead. Kim was a ghost for like like a hot minute, and then Ten years. To, then then learned to like email. And I'm Kwame, not dead. Oh, lucky you. 
So yeah, now I heard Lennox's beautiful uh, summary of events, and A plus Lenny, like that is that oh, was thank so you, thank you, great, I'm, great I'm writing, for, like real hard on it. Oh, we can tell, we can all tell. But um, as Dahlia here can tell you, sometimes the more text you get, the better the story is. So I'll go ahead and make it a little easier for you. Uh, so I died. My divinity went evil. Behind her appears a woman made entirely of black feathers. Hey. Yeah, she went evil. Uh, this one. Uh, okay. Uh, before she uh, Van moves to France, the, you know, kind of, and the uh, girl, you know her, Iris? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she told me that apparently she was an urban legend for a bit. Anyway, after uh, I came back to life, she's no longer evil, Mazel Tov. But while I was dead and she was evil, the woman behind her kind of tries to shrink like, oh, this is so embarrassing. She basically, but, she, she she wanted to open the, the door to oblivion and let everything out. Uh, and we decided to stop her. But then at the last minute, we didn't. Yeah, apparently she thought if she opened it up, she'd get me back and her husband. Husband still MIA, but hey, I'm alive again. So I call it a win. You gonna eat that brownie? Um, yeah. Damn, I was hoping you forgot. I didn't. Yeah. Who, who is husband? Oh, uh, who's your husband? A voice that sounds like rolling thunder and the cries of the dam says, The Doctor. The Doctor. I had to look him up. It means Great God, apparently. Uh... Great God. <laughs> okay, um, well, um, so what are you doing now? Are you helping us or are you just... Oh, uh, I am... Um... Freelancer. I'm helping you guys out. It's, uh, I don't know. You When you're dead for a while, you kind of think about, God, I wish I did things differently. And, uh, you know, taking this job as a little more seriously was on that list. Also getting my head, also getting an undercut. That's next to my to-do list. You could pull that off really well. Thank you. So what is the, uh, uh, well, I guess the Dean said, um, uh, watch out for new divinities showing up, be on high alert. Are we closing this door? Is it closed already? Uh, that's a million dollar question. So, uh, okay, okay. I know you're going to eat the brownie, but are you going to eat that bread bowl thing? Oh, that's not mine. No, no, that's yours, Lenny. I got it for you. I saw you forgot it one. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm eating it. Uh, do you do you do you eat the bowl too? Yeah, you eat the whole thing. That's the best part. Look, like, open it up, and there's tomato soup inside. Okay, so do I pick it up with my hands, or like, how do I? I like to break apart the top and dip the top in the tomato soup and eat it, and then break apart the bowl as the tomato soup gets eaten, and then it just oh, it's so delicious. And oh. like, and like all of this bread? Yeah, all, all of it. it. You oh. have to eat you feel, it. You feel like you weigh 30 pounds heavier, but it's like a, a soft hug of weight afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And you have to eat it. Okay. It's law. It's the rules. Is okay. that right, Kwame? It's the rules? He has to eat it? Look, I'm gluten-free, so do what you want. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, doors in my I'm head. not actually gluten-free. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Uh, the cute one over here, she points a thumb at Dahlia. She helped open it up. Door's open. Now we don't know where the door is. Yeah. So it sounds like not only do we need to catch out, well, catch or find these new divinities if they show up, we need to also be searching for this door. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, this sounds like fun. Yeah, because when we when we opened the door, we saw... Uh, a Ever a never-ending uh, void of 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 darkness uh, and eyes staring back at us um, that uh, that looked at us uh, uncaring and unflinching. So that's probably going to come up. 
You sound very um what's the word? Uh um blase nonplussed about oh, this. Oh, he does that about everything. Ask about his dad. I'm not going to ask him about his father. Oh, do it, do it. It's real funny. And by funny, I mean it's so fucking sad. I mean, there's not not much to talk about. I'm dead. About. I'm I'm a little morbid. I'm sorry. I kind he's, of forgot how to social. It's just a, it's just a, like he's my dad. It's just a normal everyday dad. I haven't spoken to him in a year and a half. Uh, and his secretary uh texts me uh anytime that uh he's got something to say. It's like a normal father son relationship. Uh huh. Okay. We're um, Kwame. We're really trying. It's my favorite soap opera. I don't need to know more. I I, I am sure you have an amazing family life, and uh, um, we will leave it at that. Yes. And with that, the lights go out. And you hear screams coming from the kitchen of the cafeteria. It seems like that's an us problem, probably. Or oh, it could just be uh, the breaker went out. Um, it's raining outside. It's a storm. Well, it sounds like it, if, if it is an us problem, we really need to talk to the dean about his timing. Mm -hmm. It's suspicious, if you ask me. Like every time, too. Like like right as like there's a lull in the conversation. You ever notice that? Yeah. You know, I wish Iris was here. She'd probably have a flashlight for all of us already. I mean, I I'm can just use my, my phone. phone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Manny, uh, as your meeting wraps up and they agree to uh, have a royal court that will be completely gender free, but they will be dividing it by age. So seniors for two, underclassmen for the other two, which they thought was pretty fair. Wait, they let people who are not juniors and seniors go to prom? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a school-wide event. Everyone's invited, but uh, they've decided there's the court for underclassmen, the court for seniors. Cool. But they're all, it's all gender neutral. All right. But as your meeting wraps up, uh, Ben is, you know, just as excited as he is for everything else. Like, Manny, that was... If you keep that up, I could see you like being club president next year or something. Me? Yeah, president you. of the pep squad? Yeah. Then you know I can't dance. Who cares about dancing? You're good with people and you're smart and you like get things done. It's rad as hell. I don't often get uh, described as smart, but I'll take it. Um, you're, very, you're like one of the smartest people I know. Oh, cool. Um, so, um, what's what's up with the lights? Oh, um, I have no idea. Uh, looks like he pops his head out the club room door. It looks like the club building and the cafeteria. Uh, oh. There are a lot of people running away from the cafeteria right now. Uh, oh, uh, Ben, can I ask you a favor? Uh, sure. What's up? Can you watch the crowns? Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Like, don't let them out of your sight. I, I will come and get them back from you, like, right away. But I, I, I should probably, uh, go check on my friends and make sure they're okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll be right back. I promise. Thank you. Love Arma scooter? No, no, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I've never even taken Trucker's Ed, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, All right. I'll be and right back. As you run, uh, Aki, get pick between one to three, mm. because our chat has unlocked the deck of heroes. Uh, one. You have drawn the Emperor. Right side up. So, Eric, you now have a critical success that you can cash in whenever you'd like. Lucky you. Yay. <laughs> I helped my team. Yes. 
All right, Manny, you are running across the quad. It is storming. It is terrible. Uh, go ahead. And I give like me... storms. I love them too. I miss them. Uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll uh, as you make it through the muck. Let's see if we can do better than we did last time. Hacha. Ooh, a six. Ah, oh, perfect. We were looking for a three. Six on a six. All right. You go running through. Um, as you do, the world of what craft has been unlocked by the chat, and you will have a run with the Cosplay Club. Wanderer, 1521, Hobo Muskrat, and the Frugal Drew, along with Savannah underscore S. Uh, they are currently, in, they were spray painting their new uh, Overwatch cosplay. And, oh no, this has not gone well. Everything's wet. Everything's terrible. I need another dexterity roll to not get... Uh, a faceful warbler. <laughs> Look for four. Another six. Hell yeah, uh, Manny! You you zip, dodge, duck, and dive. Uh, you almost almost collide with a giant Reinhardt hammer, but you just spin around it perfectly. Get um, out of the rain! You'll ruin your costumes. We're trying. There's a lot of stuff to move. I don't know why they sound like that, but that's what they sound like now. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you, chat, for unlocking both the Deck of Heroes and World of Whatcraft. And as you come bursting into the cafeteria, uh, students are fleeing in a panic as uh, Kwame, Lenny, and Dahlia, you three see what the drama is about. Inside the kitchen of the cafeteria, there is a creature that looks like it's made of white marble. Every time it moves, it seems to break and reassemble itself. And it appears to be a ten, like eight foot long, six foot tall dog with vicious sharp teeth and red eyes. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Which is dexterity plus speed. Uh, speed. Yes. Stress. I got an 11. 11. I got a nine. Not bad. Manny? I haven't rolled yet. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay. I got Dealing a with a little bit of a kerfuffle over here. Ah. Lenny, not a great role for Lenny. Never is. Uh, not a great role for, for Manny either. Only a six. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, so you two will work on the same turn. Okay. Uh, Dahlia, you're starting off this. Oh, wait. I almost forgot to roll for our dead girl. I don't have to roll. Dead girl. Oh, uh, okay. Living dead girl. If... Yeah, she's, she's alive. very much alive and she'd like to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, Dahlia, you got the highest initiative. So, you will start us off. Um, students are running in a panic. Uh, you see the lunch ladies cowering and you see some members of the uh, school culinary club just not sure what to do about this. You see B, Zelda, Fator, and a uh, music cat just all cower together in the corner. And uh, before you do anything, give me an intelligence roll. Oh, you're doing this to me. Huh. <laughs> How dare you personally uh, attack us? Four. You got a four? Yeah. Okay. Something is scratching at the back of your head, figuratively, not literally, but you have more things to be worried about right now. Okay. So, what would you like um, to do? Is everyone's attention on the dog? Yes. Not on us. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call upon Persephone to help me craft what would look like a very big stick to wave at the dog and throw for it. <laughs> All right, then. Um, go ahead and let's make that a intelligence and range. I like those two dice. Ooh, got a 17. 
All right, uh, we will have that. Uh, the doc now has distracted nine. Pretty good. All right, as you distract it, Kim comes running up and you see her arm turn into just a talon. And she is going to swipe at the beastie. Uh, she hits. And you watch as, oh my god, she does a good number of, uh, just a lot of damage to this thing. Uh, she slices it, and you see the rock come crumbling off of it. Uh, the chalk-like granite falling around and leaving this dusty powder all over the kitchen floor. Uh, next up is Kwame. Um, how... So it's dark. Is it like flashing or is it just like dark with this big old white dog? It's dark with a big old white dog. And as far as um um what comes civilians. Um um Actually, as far as other students is, uh-huh. sorry, sorry, before you do anything, give me an intelligence roll. Mm. Uh that is a nine. Oh, oh yeah, great. We were looking for uh six. Um Okay, uh, Kwame, they're cowering from this thing, and people are running from it and look honestly scared of this monster. Normal people can't see these things usually. Oh, so everyone can see this. Yes. But just like before, when we at the anime convention, people could see those things as well, couldn't they? Or no? They could. They could. So this is creation uh, and someone else has created something out of nothing. Um, You're not sure, but you know people aren't yeah. supposed to be able to see divinity. Gotcha. Uh, oh, that is a problem. Uh, how many uh, students or whoever are still in the cafeteria? Uh, there are three students cowering uh, from the dog uh, in the kitchen proper, along with uh, four uh, chefs and lunch lunch ladies. I but guess. it's like the, the the dog is kind of out of the kitchen, and they're like behind in the kitchen. No, no, no. The dog's in the kitchen with you. Uh, the cafeteria itself is uh, currently everyone's just fleeing from it, so you don't have that many. You don't have that many witnesses. Okay, now I'm I'm, I'm worried about the people that's inside. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. Uh, yeah, I get up and this. Okay. Um, let me spin you a story in which uh, everyone else is protected from this dog. Um, he's just trying to um, make sure that the rest of the people in the kitchen, potentially like there's a, uh, a, a like a shield or something that's going to block them from getting hurt from any of the actions that we or the dog take. Um, because that's going to be chaos in itself. Absolutely. That is a great use of your turn. Go ahead and give me uh, power intelligence. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is a 14. 14? 14. Okay. So uh, we have. they now have a seven shield uh, around the cowering students and the lunch ladies. They will... Basically, they have to get a damage over seven in order to actually break it. So, okay. Yeah. Anansi looks at you out of breath. That was a lot. I know we don't normally go that far. Well, that's fast. Uh, Well, that's fast. Yes. Next up is the crow's turn. Uh, The crow dog. He notices. He is distracted, so he will have to roll above a seven for him to be able to do anything. But he is going to try to take a bite out of Dahlia if he manages. He He made my stick. (laughs) Yes! Good! Crow, I mean dog. The crow dog crit failed. My first roll going to be a good I'm season. I'm so annoyed right now. It is completely enamored by the stick and as it crit failed and missed it, 
I will be lowering its strength stat by one die size. So instead of a D10, I'll be rolling a D8. Nice. Barf. So, That's uh, yeah. non barf. Aki, yeah. Aki and Eric, since you two rolled the same initiative, you will be working on the same turn. It's a so dog. I'm being asked to fight a dog. It's not a good dog. But I don't want to fight a dog. And Manny's having this internal conversation, like, conversation with himself, like, I don't want to fight a dog. Um, uh, so the sword does not come out. I think what instead happens is um, you, you just hear the words, bad dog, come out of their mouth. And like, um, oh, gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh. What are you going to do? Uh, while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, I'll let Lenny go because I honestly don't know what I want to do with this dog. Um, All right. Uh, Lenny sees that um, that uh, that uh, Kwame has sort of like done something to the other people here. Uh, so they got this big dog and the lights are kind of out. So uh, Lenny's going to uh, basically grab a... Uh, a, a a frying pan and use his power to like like jet himself forward in a way that looks like it's just a really big jump and he's just gonna like slide over a table and just like smack this dog as hard as he can to get its attention and and I'm I'm gonna use my crit success to 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 make it like look flawless and and also be super effective. So <gasps> all right all right with your critical um go ahead and what's your strength? Uh, my strength is a d12. Go ahead and roll me two d12 for damage. Okay. Ooh. Eight. Eleven. Okay. Um, you, where do you hit this thing with your frying pan? Lenny? Uh, I, he's going to, like, he's, how tall is it? Uh, it's about, uh, six feet tall. Okay. Uh, he's going to go for, he's going to, He's going for the legs to knock it down so that it it, it slips and falls. All right. Um, you hit this thing. You destroy one of its legs. And you hit it. It dissolves. And for a brief moment, it looks like the inky black tar you used to see when you would fight crows. And then it turns back into that white powder. Uh, it's still my it, turn. It is now Manny's turn. Um, I think that uh, Manny is going to... Oh, gosh. I actually honestly don't know what I want to do with this dog. Um, <sighs> you said it's enamored with a stick, right? Yes. I've never been this stuck before on a turn. I usually know exactly what it is that I want to do during thing. Um, but I am coming up empty. I guess I want to... Uh, so the, the people are protected. They're, nothing's going to happen to them. Just got his leg whacked off with a frying pan. Um I guess I, I would want to try and figure out a way. Like what? I'm sorry. What did Dahlia end up doing with the dog? Uh, Dahlia made the stick. That's the stick. Trapping. Okay. I would like to figure out some way to restrain the dog, I guess. Uh, hedge the dog uh, and kind of push it further away from the people. Um, okay. Um, sounds like you're trying to either guide it out of the kitchen area, possibly out to the quad, or you're trying to uh, just hold it down. Yeah, just in some way, like, keep it from being able to, like, move out of, like, either, like, taking it out into the quad gives too much free space for it to possibly get away from us. Uh, I would like to kind of keep it in a smaller area, uh, but sort of unable to, like, uh, get away or move too much or cause any more damage. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a, uh, let's make this strength and defense. Coo, 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 coo. And you need to beat an eight. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I rolled a nine. Great. 
Um, so it has uh, now been constrained for. What does it look like uh, when you can uh, constrain it? Um, I think that uh, what they do is the sword does manifest, but what they do is they they take the sword and they kind of swipe it across the floor, which like um, sort of uh, doesn't destroy the floor, but kind of pulls up like it almost looks as though it is the like uh, it looks like a barrier basically is like summoned from the sword that kind of like, you know. It's really funny, you know, they're the they're the, the 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 divinity of truth, but like they essentially create like an illusion uh around um around the the dog that's just like you can't get past this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um all right, that brings us back to the top of the order with Mika. So Dahlia, this thing is distracted by the stick Persephone made. Um Manny has managed to hold it in place. Kwame made a barrier, and Lenny destroyed one of its legs. Okay. I can't hurt dogs. <laughs> so. You think I've learned this after Uncanny Valley, but yeah, okay. Can I keep its attention with the bone, but also help reinforce Manny's restraints? So that uh, absolutely. Going absolutely, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and make that the same roll, uh, defense and strength. Okay. Yeah. And you will also need to beat an eight. We got a 13. That absolutely beats an eight. So, uh, how do you make Banny's, Banny's, Manny's, uh, cage a little stronger? Uh, I'd like to call upon what I did in the cemetery and have roots come up and root it in pl place. Nice. Okay. Uh, you hold it in place. It is not moving. It is, in fact, being grabbed down to the floor. Uh, and Dahlia, I need you to give me a uh, intelligence roll real fast. Just you. Okay. Seven. All right. In the corner of your eye, you see something familiar. You see a black rabbit. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me right now. Yep. Kill the dog and feel your trauma. <laughs> can I try to uh, look at this black rabbit? Like, straight on? Yes, you can. Do I ever get to look at it? Well, yeah, sure. You can look at it right now, and you turn your head, and you see... That's Orpheus, but that's not Orpheus there. They are transparent. It does not look like they're... It's like a ghost of Orpheus. And I'm as soon as you turn your head... At, yeah. You drop the bone, and I'm not going to take away its distracted condition. You earned that. But you see Orpheus for a split second. You know it's him, and then he's gone. Next up, we go to Kim. Kim, who does not have the reservations you all have, is going to just swing away with her giant claw. Um, Thanks for holding it still, she calls out. And, oh, woof. Let's go ahead and roll that down. Roll that beautiful bean footage. She does a whopping eight damage to this thing. Uh, as it begins to crack and shatter, it makes noise. It does not sound like dogs make. It's more like a uh, high-pitched, whiny bird noise than anything. What is Kim, by the way? Hmm? she a guardian? she a, a magician? What is she? Oh, I'm surprised someone actually asked that question. Of course I did, because I'm the only guardian and have been for so long. <laughs> if Kim I would have is... known... <laughs> well, there's four times and four players. I'm sure they I won't know. all pick the same one. I know, uh, that's what I also thought. Kim is name. an assassin. Ooh. Yes. Cool. I mean... They're gadfly. It fits. So, uh, next up is Kwame. Kwame, uh, this 
the kitchen has been destroyed with uh, Manny turning over the linoleum and Dahlia bringing up these roots. Uh, you see as Dahlia goes slack-jawed and drops the bone uh, they made, or stick. What'd you make again? It was like a big stick that is shaped like a bone. Yeah, the big bone stick. Um, <laughs> that's a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it though? Is it? Is yes. What are you going to do? Um, I see that Kim has taken some 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 damage. Not taken some, take, given some damage. Plus what Linny has done. Um, noting that, and I say, fun fact about spiders: web isn't the only thing they can produce. And I look back at the the dog thing. I am sorry, Anansi. This might hurt. Let me tell you. Sorry, let me spin you a story in which there are venom in your veins. And I'm seeking to manifest some kind of corrosive um, to break this thing down from within. Um, okay, yeah. Go ahead and spin the AP point and you hear Anansi go, you son of a... And I need you to roll me intelligence and range minus two. Uh huh. Oh god! Ow. Oh. Okay, I forgot to spin the eight point before intelligence range minus two. Yes. Intelligence and range. Intelligence range minus two. That's a lot. Um, math nineteen. God. 12 and a Dang. 9. <laughs> wow. Okay. Go ahead and roll me damage. That's intelligence and range plus 2. Um, that is 14, 16. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me roll this guy's defense. Uh, okay, Kwame, how do you kill it? <laughs> you see, it's a it's like a marbleized dog thing. Correct. Yes. The marbling begins to turn black and 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 almost just there's like a level of necrosis that almost seems like it's there. Um, and as from the bottom up, you see those veins become darker and darker, darker as it literally begins to crumble from the inside. Pieces just falling and 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 breaking, and some of it melting, some of it just not reacting to the venomous concoction that's now within its form. Um, and it slowly just kind of uh, kind of caves into itself, um, and it just falls, <laughs> hits the ground. One last shriek of birdie doggy sounds coming out. Yes. Um, <sighs> All right. We are out I'd, of combat. I don't do that often. I don't. Uh, uh, I can't get the taste out. I can't uh, get the taste out. You, you, you will be fine. You be I need fine. water. I need water. Do not do that again. Oh, ooh, ooh, Lenny is going to oh. walk over to the, the people who uh, who were in the kitchen and he goes, man, that's crazy that that gas main just blew right there. I think it I think it shut off power to like half the campus or whatever. Uh, they do not stop and listen. Everyone who was trapped in the kitchen is making a bolt for it. You do notice one student, though, uh, Mackenzie Smith. She is just petrified. She is not moving. What was that? What was that dog? Uh, I didn't see a dog. What I saw was the gas main uh, expanded and exploded and the linoleum like formed a shape. And then with like the lights out, I imagine, you know, the fear of that is probably there might be gas. That might also have been like uh, some Romy charm. Romy why, charisma. Why would why would you make me roll? Because you're lying. Ooh, three. That's almost as great as I could do. Mackenzie stands up. There was a dog. You're right. You're right. There was a dog. It's been taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. Sometimes strange things happen, and there's no explaining them, and it's just a part of how the school works. But you are safe. You are taken care of. Everything is all right. Do you want my bread bowl? 
she doesn't wait and she just leaves. You can tell she is in shock. Um, uh, teachers begin piling in, uh, school administrators. Uh, among them, you see, uh, doc you see Dr. Ash, who looks very concerned. Um, five of you, my office, now. Oh, oh I'm gonna get in trouble again. He's like, hey, watch oh, out, stuff might happen, and then stuff happens and we solve it, and then you're like, you're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. I have, I have thoughts. Yes, um, uh, Anansi has uh, made themselves a toothbrush, by the way. It is quite adorable. <laughs> Just on the show to go, ah! ah. Yes. <laughs> uh, but Kwame does go, but his brow furrows as he's not happy. Yeah. Manny follows as well and kind of looks back at Lenny. He's like, you know... If you're gonna let somebody spin a tale about what happened, you should probably leave it to Kwame. Yeah, I, I've never been really good at like lying, I guess. Except you seem to do it a lot. I mean, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. A lot of people lie all the time, but it seems like you are particularly not suited to it. Yeah, you'd think you'd think for as much as I lie, I'd be a lot better at it. Do you like lying? Not particularly. Do you lie because of your dad? I mean, I lie because of a, no, a number of reasons. I hope you know you never have to lie to me. I know. I mean, I know you do anyway, but you don't have to. It's it's not that I want to like lie to people. It's that I don't want to. I'm not ready to say certain things that are true. Uh, oh, that's totally fine. That's why I don't get upset when you do. Cool. That's why I, I like it. hanging out with you. Hey, Lenny. You're a good dude. Oh, thanks. You're that's a good person, definitely too. Definitely no lie. Thanks. As You're like a, a heck of a good listener. Oh. I try. I just want to make sure that, you know, everybody feels taken care of. Um, and sometimes the only way to really take care of people is to give them the space to do the thing that they need to do when they, when they need to do it. Yeah. I'm like totally on a journey of self-discovery. <laughs> You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Um, as the four of you are back in, well, the five of you, cause Kim is with you. As the five of you ascend the elevator uh, with Manny and Lenny having this conversation uh, and Anansi brushing his teeth with an adorable spider uh, toothbrush, Dahlia, you can't get over the fact that you know what you saw. You I saw did. Orpheus. I did. When you arrive at the top floor, um, the storm clouds blocking out the beautiful view of North Point Academy, uh, Dr. Ash wastes no time. I have been protecting this school for decades, and you have done nothing wrong. You are not in trouble in any way, shape, or form. I am not here to yell at you. I promise you that right now. But people without divinity can't see these things. Sometimes we have... Did. Yeah, we have no control over where these things show up. I'm, once again, this is not your fault. I'm not mad at you. You have done nothing wrong. But this is something that kind of is a major shift in how we are going to have to proceed. They saw the crow, and that crow didn't look right. He goes to his bookshelf, and he pulls off a very large leather-bound tome, and plops it out on the desk in front of you. And you see Polaroids of crows. Lots of them. You have a weird hobby, dude. I've been studying these things. And I've been studying the doors to oblivion for a very long time. And I've been studying the crows even longer. 
if anyone else looks at these photos, they don't see anything. You can see them. I can see them. That thing in the cafeteria, normal people saw. Oh, wait. What if, like, um, I don't know. Like, hear me out. This is a theory. Like, it was, like, like normally when when we've seen them, they're, like, you know, like, twisted or whatever, and they're, like, made of, like, feather or what. But that thing wasn't, like, feathers. That thing was, like, straight up, like, like, concrete or whatever. Like, what if it's it's built, like, a shell, and it's, like, manipulating, like, things that people can see to, like, be, like, seen? I don't know. Kim... Okay. Kim plops down in a chair. I mean, that makes sense when uh, the Morgan was uh, the Phantom Queen. Uh, don't take it personally. Everything kind of had that spooky look to it, right? So, yeah. and she so was, you were in charge of the uh, door, right? I don't believe that's what I was, but eh, it was close enough. When. The Morrigan was the Phantom Queen. Things looked a certain way. And now this thing looks a certain way. Are you thinking that someone else has taken your position or has asserted themselves in a different way? Why marble? I'm sure there has to be an explanation for this. I just wish I knew what it was. A mystery to be solved, truth to be found. Huzzah! Um, you guys didn't notice anything weird, right? Other than the big marble dog, no, no, nothing, nothing at all. Why did you? I could have sworn I saw Orpheus, and I know, I know that you're gonna be like, oh, it's just you missing him, but I promise you, I saw him. No, I like straight up believe you if you say you saw it because you're not like, you know, a liar or prone to like seeing things. Yeah, you... it, it wasn't like him, you know, it was he looked different. I mean, I just I just saw a dog made of rock try and eat us. So if you say you saw Orpheus, like I'm gonna straight up believe you. We see all kinds of weird things all the time. Why should we suddenly stop thinking that it's possible you saw Orpheus? You don't have to justify yourself to us. You, We, we believe you. I once saw a, a, a weird crow lady what? stab a man in the chest with a key, and then uh, a, a wicker man showed up. So, like... But that's not the, that's not the part that is concerning me. The what's... part that concerns me is that I thought he was gone. But the last time I saw him, his form turned into crow form. Like he was a crow and not actually a divinity like the rest of our, the, the rest of the keys were. And so it just makes me wonder what what's going on below that, you know? Dr. Ash nods. If he was just a crow, then once he was destroyed, there would have been nothing left. They don't have souls. They don't have tangible forms after they're gone. They are just negative energies manifested for a moment and then gone. If they're not made by, you know, the keys or anything. But, like, also, he was, like, never a key or whatever. Uh, and he thought... He was like a divinity, or he gave us the divinities to fight back against the the bad ones, the crows. And he could was do it? stuff, like he made us all yeah. like do like Possibly. that dream walk. Yeah, wasn't he going through like a whole identity crisis towards the end there? Anyway, he didn't even know what he was. Yeah, because technically Orpheus is a a singer, like a musician, a poet. And he was using powers that aren't really attributed to Orpheus ever. Yeah. But like, hmm. And I, f I figure like, as soon as we like brought Kim back from the dead, like, like rules as it were, are like, you know, not a thing. So. <laughs> yeah. In any case, Dahlia, if you say you saw him, 
then you saw him. And then we have to figure out what that means. And maybe it's tied to whatever is going on with the crows now. And that nece isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, it's just a mystery to solve and a truth to uncover. And we have all the people that we need right here to figure that out, including you. So it's going to be okay. And you don't have to worry. If we can get Orpheus back, we will. Okay. And if you're crazy, I promise you, we will put you in the nicest asylum we can find. Oh, we'll have hush, the... Kim. Kim throws an arm around you, Dahlia. Picture it. You can officially be Ophelia. No, I don't. Ophelia on stage, sure. But Ophelia in real life? Yikes. I'm just messing with you. Kim, I you have promise a very dark my... sense of humor. I can't imagine why. It's probably because you... Do oh, you meant... Uh, that was sarcasm. Oh. Yes. I love you nerds so much. I'm a nerd. I yeah. can't even make good I think I'm still cool. technically a jock, but I think I'm losing that. Is that okay with you? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> it means you get to figure out what else you're probably... Uh, what else you are. Yeah. And how about you, Kwame? How do you feel of your first official, I mean, you technically your second, but your first official adventure with us? You feeling all right? Got any questions? Need a little bit of a pep talk? What you got? No, 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 no. I, uh, this is uh, interesting for me, I guess. Um, You're part of the team. Not to be like, I was alone and no one liked me. No, nothing like that. I uh, just... Uh, this thing with him um, was just kind of a, you know, you do a little bit of this, you do a little bit of that. You have fun. You you make people happy. And now this is a little more uh, serious. So just a lot to think about is all. Yeah, with it's... great power or something like um, that. Great visibility? Mortality? What is it from? You don't say mortality. Come on. You are you are attempting to quote a a comic about the spider when you're talking to the literal Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. Have you ever seen Spider-Man turn off the dark? Or <laughs> <laughs> I think that gets the like biggest laugh should, out of. I feel like that's where we should end this. I feel oh, like. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Dahlia bringing up Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark gets the biggest laugh from Kim any of you have ever heard. <laughs> and that is actually, and that is where we are going to wrap this episode because thanks to our chat, we have unlocked ghost stories. Our next episode is going to be a haunted house episode. Oh, God. Oh, okay. No. Oh, Lord. Uh, this is oh, going to be fun. Boy. I have no idea how I'm going to make that work. But... Thank you all so much for tuning in and thank you all for playing. This has been uh, season two, episode one of New Pantheon Academia. Uh, I'm your host, Stephen Pope. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I'm still banned. Fun with even your Even your second one got banned? Yep. Hey. Wow. Fun with stalkers. Anyway, you can find me on TikTok at Stephen Pope 101. Make sure you check it out. Thank you, Mercs of Mischief and Vanna for raiding during this video. Thank you all. If you did not get your subscription mentioned, because there were a bunch of you at the end there, don't worry. You will be mentioned next week. Tune in. See where you fall in on this haunted house exhibit. Uh, starting from the bottom, now we're here. Uh, so, Do so Mika, where can they find you yes. online? Hi. You can follow. Fo ooh. <clears throat> Let me start over. Hi, you can find me uh, on any social media site at RIP Mika because I die in every game, but hopefully not this one because Dahlia is too much of a sweet little baby that I don't want to ever lose her. Um, precious I'm, theater bean. <laughs> our precious theater bean. I'm also starting up um, a new Minecraft series every Monday on my Twitch channel if you want to come over. There's going to be lots of cool people. So Ooh, fun. that would be nice. And you can find me here every Sunday. I can never figure out Redstone in that game. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? 
Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My full Twitch streaming schedule is over on my personal Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Yudari Aki. S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Uh, and I have a cool thing that I'm doing with CB very soon, but I'm going to let him announce it because he got that, you know, that je ne sais quoi. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all my regular stuff is going. All right. Uh, well, I can kind of threw it over to CB. So, CB, where can they find you? All right. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Uh, hi, hey, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bart. Critical Bart across all social media channels. You can find me most on most socials, especially YouTube, which I'm re revamping, um, Twitter and Twitch. Uh, mostly on Twitch, I as, as I am a full time Twitch streamer. Actually, literally in an hour, you can, uh, if you want, you can come over to my stream um, as I'm going to be playing some Among Us with Felicia Day and the Guild. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good time, and I'm going to regret everything. Um, yeah, many different things happening. Also, like Aki just said, uh, March 20th, starting on my channel, uh, 1 30 p.m. Pacific on Sundays. Um, Saturdays. Saturdays, thank you. Uh, right, not Sunday, definitely not Sundays. <laughs> Today's Sunday. Uh, on Saturdays, uh, we are starting a Wild Mount campaign, a Wild Mount DD 5e campaign. Uh, oh. very excited about that. It's gonna be a good time. We have such uh, a cool cast. We oh. do. We have an amazing cast. The Opera Geek, Michael Kritz, Nick the Tiefling, Mike, I guess, um, you, myself, and then Guild of Locksmith is our DM. Uh, so, yeah, check that out. We'll have more information coming up soon. Can't wait to uh, kick that off. And that's really me, just making trouble wherever I go. I'm about to eat make some uh, pot stickers, just like in the episode, because I'm hungry. I am so hungry. God dang. All right. Last but certainly not least, Eric. Hello. Uh, you can follow me on all the social medias, including twitch.television, where I, I stream uh, during the weekdays at Mostly Eric. Uh, and you can catch me uh, Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley uh, for our show, The Board and Barrel, where we play a bunch of board games with each other. And it's been very fun. That's awesome. And hey, special thanks to Saving Throw Show. Without them, we would not have a show because that's where you are right now. Tomorrow, you should come back and check out an all new Broken Pact, our official D&D show sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. Venture into another world with zany gods, Theros. That's right, we're getting Greco Roman up in here. The stream begins tomorrow at 8 p.m. right here on Saving Throw. Do not miss it. Uh, Special thanks to Zomza for running everything behind the scenes, and we will catch you next week for more New Pantheon Academia. So excited for this season. Uh, once again, I'm Stephen Pope, and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Bye! Bye. Bye.